Hi guys, welcome. This time I want to show how to use a carbon fiber brush. Are you using it the right way? Are you for example taking the record out of its sleeve onto the turntable and moving the brush along the record to remove the dust in this way? If you are doing it this way, and I have been doing it this way for many years, you are making three mistakes. Mistakes is a big word, but you can do it in a better way and a more efficient way. So if we look onto the record and the record there is dust on it, why is there dust on the record? And the main reason is of course static. We have all seen this experiment where you load a PVC pipe with charge. By the way, this material is exactly the same as your record and it picks up dust very, very easily. So if you want to remove dust from your record, which you saw was not so easy, you first have to remove the static. So if you have a static record where there's dust on it, and you want to remove the static first, you actually don't have to place it onto your turntable, because if you place the static primer onto your turntable, charge will go from the top side to the bottom side. And this is an effect which is very similar to what is happening if you have a water stream and you keep a rod close by. You will see that I am able to move the stream and this is because the electrical field is between the water and the rod, not outside it. It concentrates between those two. And that's exactly what is happening when you are placing a static record onto your turntable. It, the electrical field is also between the turntable and the vinyl. So if the most charge is at the bottom side, this is then also the side which picks up the most dust from your mat. It's, it's also what we don't want. So it is best when you take out the record from its sleeve to take away the dust and the static while it is in your hand. And you can do both sides. As you are moving the static, you have to move actually a little bit slower as normal. But you are doing both things at the same time. If you are not comfortable holding it this way in your hand, this, this kind of nice tool, some board with some cloth in it, and you can hold it this way, and you hold it more secure, and then you can clean it in this way. Now there can of course still be dust onto the record. If there is still dust on the record you can't move it, then the only solution you have is put it onto the turntable, take your brush and moving it this way. Well, like everything in this video, everything is swapped. Everything is just the other way around. So instead of moving from the inside to the outside at an angle, it's better to keep it straight and move from the outside to the inside. Why is it? What, what, what is the reason behind this? I will try to explain that with my trusty gatefold which is simulating a groove. Put some dust in it. And now if we imagine this rod is the carbon fiber of your brush, what we want to do is of course move the fiber across the groove and remove the dust in this way. To do this you are moving along the groove and the groove goes from the outside to the inside. Also, if you angle it and you go to the outside, what you in effect are doing is you are moving the carbon fiber across the fiber across the groove and you are rubbing also the side of the vinyl. So with the rubbing you are of course charging it also. That's the reason why I prefer to go from the outside to the inside. And when you are done playing, when the record is finished, it's actually a good idea to take it off and when you during play and there's some friction between the mat and the vinyl which is creating again static and also when you take it off it's like peeling from the mat you will introduce static again on the, to the vinyl so it's a good idea to do to go quickly over it not to remove dust but to quickly take any static that has been re introduced on the record to move it away. This way when you are not playing the record it will attract much less dust when it is in its sleeve. I am curious if you want to try it this way. If it is more efficient for you please leave a comment 
uh, in the box below. I'm very curious to know. Um, next time I will demonstrate four different brushes, carbon fiber brushes, and try to decide which is best. If you like the video, please give the thumbs up and see you next time. Bye bye.